all these knives have got a anti-scaling compound put on them so uh, it's easier for me to when I get back to do uh, grinding and what I'll do with this one is I'm going to chuck it in this clamp smoking see this is 71 71 years minutes. Wait for that to come back up to uh, 800. So you can see it takes a takes a few minutes to get back up. He's dropping. I did close that door properly yet. Yeah. There he goes, he's coming up now. Once he's back up to temp, I'll um I'll pull him out. Hopefully I'll try not to delay it so long this time. Let's give it a Bit of time to get up. It's also it's coming out of the kiln a nice colour as well. While that's uh, cooling, I'll turn these off. I'm not sure this is needed just yet, but if there's any bows, I can always take take them out in the tempering cycle. It's just just an extra precaution, you know. Generally, I haven't had a problem with a uh, four mil uh, warping much. To be fair, on the on the hardening uh, cycle, 
I've been uh, I've been fairly lucky really. He says. So um let's see what happens. With this, uh, with this battery, <clears throat> I'll just let that uh, get up. Taking like a gun. That's good. Right. Let's get this one out. That's a lovely colour. Just like a like a cherry red. Um, go in by the colours that you see on the charts online I'm fa and um, watching other knife makers with their colours I'm fairly confident that um, this is the right temperature 800 celsius for this to take this out and uh, I'm hoping we're going to get in between somewhere of a Rockwell hardness after quenching around about a 64, 65 that's what I'd like to aim for. I do excuse that it's a little bit dark, but uh, I wanted to see the colour when I took it out of the uh, kiln. Okay, so this is uh, my Rockwell tester. This is uh, what I'm going to test these four knives with, which uh, you'll have seen me uh, heat treat them in the video. I've got to keep the camera at this level so you can see the workings of uh, the Rockwell tester. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to test, I'm going to test the heel, blade edge, the belly and the tip of the, the knife. <coughs> in four positions and then I like to come up probably about two mil so what happens now is I'm going to rotate this up and then as soon as the diamond bit hits the steel the needle will move oh, you, you probably won't see the needle moving from there there, he's in now. So now I've got to rotate it three times. That's looking good. Turn the dial to the seat. Put the load, <coughs> apply the load. <coughs> and obviously this handle is dropping now. You'll be able to see it drop. And um, that's unloading. Oh, we'll be unloading now. We're just going to count to ten. Now that's unloaded, and that's given me a 59 Rockwell. Bang on the button. Uh, you didn't see that there. So, uh, I'm happy with that. I'll just get. I won't go through the the foot the whole four. I'll just do this one, and then we'll um, go back to the man cave and I'll update with the stats. Apply the load again. Move that back a bit so you can see the handle. Try and 
trying to do this in the utility room and the shoes and boots everywhere. <laughs> right. There we go. And there you go. That's uh, 59 again. That was now we go to the belly of the blade. And I'm just taking him taking it in a couple of mil because I'm going to grind that off with the actual blade edge. Apply the load. See the handle moving there, look. There we go. Bang on, 59 again. So we're going to go to the tip now. Keeping them in a couple of mil. There we go. Bring them round to bring them up to the 12 o'clock point, move the dial to match the digit, the marking sorry not the digit, apply the load, Fantastic, fantastic, yeah, so you'll see, you should be able to pick them up, there you go, see those there, that's the little uh, in indent, what the diamond bit makes in the middle of that, so what I'll do is, um, I'll take them back into the man cave and then we'll go, uh, sorry no I won't, what I'll do is I'll carry on with these other three and then we go back to the man cave and then we come up with the stacks. Okay, so I've got the stacks <coughs> back on those four. So uh, there they are if you wanted to pause the video and have a look at it. We got one point um, between, we got a 59 and we got a 60. So there's one whole rock world point. Um, between one knife to another knife the rest of it are all consistent they're all consistent by half a point from that 59 or that 60 so I'm calling that fairly consistent um, I'm pleased with that so this Rockwell hardness will suit the application for this what I'm calling the camp knife so an all round battening uh, fire preparation you know all stuff what you're going to do out in the camp or in the woods or whatever <clears throat> so I had a guy contact me today and ask me uh, to do a short video but I told him I was doing this on the heat treatment so I'll show that video to Andy so there you go Andy if you like that I hope you got something from it um, and also Andy I think there's a site <coughs> excuse me uh, called Zorro who were selling these they went up in the summer they went down to about £700 they had a special deal on and uh, recently I think I looked on it they were about 900 but I think they max out at about £1,000 so you're looking from probably around about 700 to 1000 the one I got in there well actually the three I got I had a bid on three I uh, wasn't expecting to win all three and I did I won all three so I've got one in my lockup and I've got one in my garage, which is which is an Avery one, which is a, a digital one. It gives out a digital reading rather than the one what you've just seen, like an analogue. Um, yeah, so uh, that's where you can get them from. Or, or just look online, uh, Rockwell Hardness Tester, and uh, see what comes up. But you can be looking to pay for around about £700 to £1,000 for one. So that concludes the uh, 01 tool steel um, heat treat. If you like what you see, 
give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, share this video if you like. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.